What is going on my guys? Welcome back to my channel. I am Garrett with Game by the Beach and I am really excited about today's video because we are going to be going over the top three decks in Rush Royale currently. So if you're seeing this video a week from now, chances are it's not going to be the best deck anymore. But uh, as of right now, these are the top three decks. So the first one I'm showing you, I actually played this in my last video, but is it is the Alchemist and Thunderer deck. If you guys haven't played this deck, try it out. It's really, really fun. Alchemist with Grindstone right now is just super, super strong. We're going up against a Shaman deck, so I'm going to have to pay attention. He took away my Harlequin right there. I couldn't have done anything. This deck, and it's really cool because all three decks that I'm about to show you can all beat each other. They might have better win percentages against a certain deck, but they do win and lose to each other. It's not like one trumps all every single time. So I'm going to try and not talk about exactly what the other decks are. A lot of them have some pretty common cards, uh, but let's just go through what this deck is good at and what happens when you play this deck. So. I've been playing this deck at about 6,800 trophies. I've been going up, I've been going down. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, in the beginning, it can be a little bit tough, okay? Because Alchemist, um, here he comes with a Shaman. I gotta get ready. Oh, there's a little bit of lag here. Okay, let's do that. Because Alchemist is completely random, if you don't set up your board properly in the early stages, you can kind of run into trouble. So let's just do that. We're past that stage already. So I feel pretty good. Uh, against Shaman, I definitely wouldn't say this is a great deck against Shaman. Some of these decks are better and worse against Shaman. This one, I would say against Shaman, I'd say it's probably difficulty level like five out of 10 because you still have the Harlequin as well as Summoner to kind of spam out and be able to move people around. It's not gonna ruin your board too much. But at the same time, if you get down to only a couple of Alchemists or maybe a couple of Thunderers, you're going to have a really tough time against bosses and a really tough time against the Waves. So that's kind of why. Um, oh, we're going up against Bedlam. For some reason, I thought we were going up against a different boss. But let's just spam here. Let's just have some fun with these decks here. Oh, yes, sir. Okay, we're going to go up here. Um, let's go right there. Hmm. Okay, that was good. I'm gonna do this. Okay. Trying to map out all my plays here. Pretty much I'm just gonna be combining out rank one units, even rank two units at this point, and we should be in pretty good shape. By the way, the giveaway that I am doing for my 2,000 subscribers, if you haven't checked out that video, check it out, because if you put your comment in that video of what you wanna see in this channel, it could literally be anything. Uh, I will perhaps buy your premium pass. And it's just, it's at the very, very end of the season, so you gotta do it soon. Ooh, I actually, I gotta put that out like very soon, actually. Um, but yeah, let's just keep on going. I don't even know when this video is, but it is a beautiful morning out tonight. Tonight? Today? Mm -hmm. Didn't make that first switch, made the second switch. Let's keep on chugging along. This guy's starting to have a little bit of a tough time, which I love to see. Shaman will forever be one of the top decks. Um, hmm. Let's see, let's just do this, I guess. Oh, and there is a victory. Deck number one is complete. You see it here, Alchemist, Thunderer, Grindstone, really, really strong. Alchemist and Grindstone, really good combination. Thunderer kind of slows everybody down and does those uh, like multi-kills uh, that kind of takes care of the monsters that are all damaged by the Alchemist. You can see we had 1.3 million damage done by the Alchemist right there. So let's jump into deck number two which is this Inquiz deck, which also has Grindstone in it. Instead of Summoner, it has Dryad in it, and it still has Harlequin in it, and it has Bombardier in it. I actually just leveled up my Bombardier to level uh, 12, I believe, 
which is pretty cool. Only 30,000 gold. I thought they increased the, the amount that it, it cost like a while ago, but you guys probably know this deck pretty well. It's really, really strong. If you can get late game in this deck, man, it's tough to beat. It's really, really tough to beat. I actually just had a really crazy game with this deck to where we both ended up getting to like the fourth boss and we both had nine in quizzes where if you're playing this deck for the first time, I would recommend trying to get to four in quizzes. It's great to have high, high ranking grindstones, some nice bombardiers in there helping out. This deck is super, super strong. The biggest problem with it is that it has trouble with bricking. That also means that you're gonna have a bit of trouble against a uh, shaman, right? Because if it's in the beginning, they're already bothering you enough uh, it's going to be pretty problematic to try and withstand here. Let's try and find an Inquiz without using that Harlequin. There we go. Uh, so let's just get some of these things up. We got Bedlam coming up. I'm going to do this and this. And let's just get our Grindstone and our Inquiz up one time. And then I think we should be chilling until Bedlam. And I can just kind of spam my board as we go along. So yeah, bringing, let's say Shaman with this deck com combined with Shaman and bricking, I would say risk level at like three at, oh, I guess I should go the other scale, huh? Maybe eight out of 10, like it's really tough. I've played against this deck many times where they brick, I've played this deck many times where I brick. It also can get kind of messed up by bosses. Bedlam can be tough at times, whether if you just get a bunch of dryads, that's the risk, like dryad's such a great card. It's high risk, high reward. So it's, it's, it's kind of tough to play at times, but this, yeah, I mean, it's still one of the absolute best decks. And this deck has been around for like three seasons now. Uh, let's just try and take Bedlam up, Bedlam out as soon as we can. We don't have any Bombardier, so it's probably going to switch us around. But I don't really mind, to be honest. It's fine. As he does that, I'll just spam here. Just make sure that we kill it. Uh, I think we're going to kill it without even like needing to get to the right number. But if he switches me again, I don't mind that at all. Still not exactly what you want to see. We did take it out there. We have a rank three Harlequin. It would have been nice to keep that as a, um, keep that as an Inquiz. I probably played that really poorly, but what are you gonna do? So let's see here. We can do. Hmm. Let's try and not lose in this game right now. I'm playing this really scarily. I need one Dryad, there we go. Okay, so let's go here, let's go here. I'm actually gonna go, um, I'm gonna do this, this, and that, and then that, okay. Oh, shoot, I forgot we had, a, we had one more. Oh, what the? Oh, there's one hiding in the right corner. I didn't even see that one. <laughs> All right, let's just do this. Let's get back on track. We got Tamer. We're going to be okay. Literally, my thumb was hiding the one in the corner. I didn't even see it. But uh, we do have two rank threes, one rank four. Uh, most of them are touching grindstone. So I'll be able to spam my board a little bit when Tamer comes up. Tamer is the perfect boss for this deck right now in this situation because I can kind of get my deck set my board set back up without worrying about puppeteer leveling me down without tribunal taking away my units without bedlam doing all this stuff so once our board is a little bit more full we're gonna be in really good shape and when it's right before the boss we'll spam our board and see what we can do we need more bombardiers we need more grindstones touching cool stuff and then I think we're gonna be in pretty good shape obviously this is a mirror matchup look at that beautiful okay so let's just do that get one over there and then we're gonna make all of these dryads um, okay so let's get this guy up a couple times and I'm actually ooh, let's spam my board one more time it might be dangerous okay let's just do is any of them any of my bombardiers touching grindstones yeah just that one just barely so let's get our ooh yeah we have to level everybody up too. weird deck weird well not weird deck weird gameplay I don't know Let's try and get our grindstone to max. Let's try to get our inquizzes to max. As you can see, I'm really just trying to stay at four. I'm trying to rank everybody up as much as I can. And I think we're in pretty good shape. He's got three rank threes and a rank two. And I've got two, oh, three rank threes 
and a rank four. So let's get our grindstone up. They are all touching high ranking grindstones. Notice that he's only got two level one grindstones. I have two rank two grindstones. Now he's got rank two grindstones. Uh, so he might be on his way back. And we are going up against Gorgon. So we definitely want to make sure that we're closer to our portal rather than later on in the board because they do freeze your units. Gorgon can be a little bit tricky with this deck, but as long as you kind of keep a full board, you should be in okay shape. But 10 seconds until Gorgon. Let's hang out until then. Let me know what you guys are playing with right now on the ladder, what you're pushing with right now. I'm still trying to push up a little bit, um, but kind of hanging around 6,800. And hopefully by the end of the season, I'll hit uh, I'll hit 7,000 and, and so on and so forth. So we're taking this guy out. It is a slightly uh, weaker boss than his. Let's just spam a little bit. Ay, ay, ay. Uh, kind of a bad play right there. Coffee down, I gotta move this guy. Uh, let's just, uh... Yikaroos. I need, uh, uh-oh. I need, uh-oh, I think I just ruined my board. How do I have no mana? Oh, smokes. Okay, we can do this and this. Get that. Okay. But that was really, really bad by us, because if you lose traction in the beginning of the wave, I think it's, you You have a really hard time coming back. We only have a rank, I mean, we still have higher ranking. No, we don't. We don't have any higher ranking stuff than him. So really, really bad on my part. We might be able to escape, but it's probably going to turn into Puppeteer taking our lunch money and uh, leveling all our stuff down and everything like that. So I think we're going to survive this wave, but it's going to be really, really ugly and we'll probably end up taking a hit by, from Puppeteer. If we can even take this mini boss out. Holy smokes, it's going to be a healthy Puppeteer. Really ugly play by me, and we do have a rank. Oh, holy smokes, we can do that. All right, let's get a rank five. I didn't see that this entire time. You guys are probably screaming at my screen. 5.1 to take out. Bombardier is going to help. That rank five Inquiz is going to help. Wow, we already got it down to 4.3. It hasn't leveled us down yet, so that's good. But now a couple of our Inquizes aren't touching grindstones, so that's a shame. Not sure if we're going to be able to take it out. It might be close. It might be close. It might not be close at all. 2.8. I don't think we're going to take it out. We just got to withstand the next uh, wave. Maybe we'll be able to take this guy out in the next wave or the next boss. We are going to be behind, though, but not out. Behind, but not out. That's for sure. Let's see if we can just... Well, I got to level everybody up here. So we got our grindstones up to max. Our grindstones are actually in better spots than they were previously. Uh, I'm gonna try and max out my Inquiz. Oh, he doesn't have the right amount. Oh, he's gonna have a really tough time combining out unless he can get an Inquiz real quick. Wow, you are a lucky son of a boy. Uh, so we literally, we can't make it to the next boss. We are going to have to take him out in this wave. 30 seconds, it actually looks kind of ugly to him. But it doesn't look all that pretty to us either. Let's just do this to try and help with the slowing. And we may have made out like a bandit if we could take this guy out. All those monsters are just chilling in the middle of his board. Hit, boy, hit. Ten seconds. They're getting right to the end. And like his name, this guy is... History, right? That is a victory. No, I didn't play that very well, but that is a victory. I will take it any way I can. And we are back over 6,900, I think. Let's see where we're at. Another 27 trophies. Back over 6,900. And the last, and you guys know it well, the last best deck that is in the meta right now is the Meteor deck. Again, this one has a lot of positive negatives. This one I feel like is pretty good against Shaman. Toughness level is probably like a five again. This is actually a subscriber. What up, Danger Boy? Playing against, so he's running the deck we just played against and the deck we just played against was a mirror matchup. So you can see everybody runs pretty much these three decks and then you'll see a little bit of Shaman spam up there. You can brick with this deck. It's a little bit tougher just because you can kind of get out of trouble with Meteor. But I'll tell you right now, in a head-to-head -head matchup with the deck that I'm playing against and the deck that I'm playing right now, really, really tough. I don't know if I said uh, anything to him. A little, a little wave. What up, Danger Boy? 
Um, I would say that I lose this matchup with Meteor more often than I than I win it, which I, I'm not saying that that's necessarily how it always works, but that's my reality. That's my reality, because uh, I'm probably not the best player anyway, but let's try and get out of this really early. Holy smokes, we're already having a tough time. Um, I guess we'll do this. I'm trying to get a... If we could have gotten a, uh... Eh, I don't want to do that. Let's do this. We, we need a Thunderer just to survive here. I was trying to get a rank 3 or a rank 4 Summoner. It's early on in the game. I want to just, uh, have my coffee and chill, but... He's keeping the pressure on. There we go. Let's see if this helps a lot. I think it'll bring us back to our portal. Let's level up our Thunderers. The thing with the deck that he's running that we just showed off is uh, it keeps so much pressure on your opponent. So much, incredibly so much pressure. And playing this Meteor deck, it always feels like you're kind of on your back foot, right? You're not going to output the same amount of damage as your opponent, but you'll be able to get back to that damage with the Meteor pretty much just saving you. It's pretty much a saving grace, right? Um, and the thing about the... I, I'm not very good at this Meteor deck. I've kind of come to realize that. But with... You know, when Bedlam comes up, I love to ship people around. You got Mime, you got Harlequin, you got Summoner in there. But you almost want to keep your stuff lower ranking because that way it's easier to merge out Meteors. So it's a really, like, kind of counterintuitive way to play the game for me. But we do have a rank 3 Thunderer, so that's going to help out a good amount. We don't have any rank 2 Meteors, which we have a bunch of Harlequins. Um, so let's see what we can do. Oh, we do have three rank one Meteors, so that's good. We can just use that when we get a chance. I know the best way to play this deck is to always try and have a Meteor on hand, whether it's a rank one or a saving a high ranking Meteor to take out a boss or anything like that. So always tough to put this Meteor deck away, but I still think late game, the Inquiz deck is, is your best bet, so... Let's just do this because we have so many. Holy smokes. There we go. Okay, we got a bunch of Meteors now. And uh, let's just get our Thunderers up to max. He's still in, still chilling with only the one. He must have messed up there and had to combine out. I'm not exactly sure. But uh, let's just keep on chilling here. Let's try to keep the pressure on him early. And see if we can actually take this man out uh well we are going up against bedlam that's pretty good actually this is almost best case we do have 30 seconds for him to work back towards the beginning of his board but uh if his monsters are a little bit further on his board than he would like it to be chances are bedlam is going to switch him around and in that case it's going to mess him up pretty good let's just do this one time just to make sure that we can stay where we want to stay we'll do this and this I think we'll hit it one more time. Oh, two seconds. Okay, we took that out. That was actually pretty good by us. Right back to our portal. So we should be able to take this guy out, no problem. Yes, he's going to switch us around, but I don't really care. Everything's a rank a rank three anyway. So we should be absolutely fine. We don't have any rank three Thunderers, but that's all right. Let's have it switch us around one more time and see what we can do. There's a couple rank threes. It's really important to have a couple of rank threes just to survive uh through <laughs> through bedlam or a surprise even through waves as long as you can like slow people down oh my gosh 20 seconds 19 woo, 19 not seconds k hp so that is a hit we are in the driver's seat that's actually massive that he took a hit right there really really lucky on our part that he kind of messed up early that it's it's like a chain of effects he messed up early the monsters were fur further on his board than he wanted it to be Bedlam messed him up. He got his board looking the way he wants. Bedlam switched him again. Took another hit. I'm not saying this game is over. I'm certainly not saying that. Um, but definitely a good thing that that happens. He's got all rank ones right now. Uh, all rank one in quizzes. Let's just do this. We've got a bunch of meteors. Try to keep as many meteors on the board as possible. I have had the, a, a comment in the past saying, is there not a benefit to leveling up your meteor? No, there's not a benefit. I'm saying that really confidently, even though I don't really know for sure. And Danger Boy ends up quitting. I think it is true that he was end up taking an L there. We just got, I tried to emote good luck, but I guess it just spammed through. His in quiz did 4 
million. But right there, those are the three best decks in the meta currently, which may switch around during the next update. But that's going to be the end of this YouTube video, guys. If you enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll check you guys out in tomorrow's video.